Hey, John Ross, this is Keaton Everett with ABC going over your pitching video. We're going to go through and talk a little bit about mechanics and break it down in, in a couple spots that, that I like to look at. You know, we look at how you're starting, you know, uh, are you balanced over your back leg, are you breaking your hands at the same time, just that timing. You know, that timing over the rubber is so key to how we're going to finish. All right, and then it's a matter of, of, you know, looking at how our hips are working in relation to our upper body as we go down the hill. We want our hips to lead. We want, it, we want you know, that's where our power is generated. We want that lower half to get going. And then we're going to look at foot strike. Foot strike is right when that, for you, that right foot touches the ground. Uh, you know, what do we look like? Are we in a nice, you know, powerful position? Are our hands... Um, and elbows in good positions to, to keep us safe, you know, keep us healthy. And then we're going to look at, you know, how you're finishing. You know, are you finishing through those legs? Um, you know, are you getting out front? So we're going to go through and talk a little bit about that too. So we'll go back here to the start and um, just look at at where how you're starting. All right. Okay. So basically, what we look for is from the wind up is limited motions, you know, is, or limited movements. We don't want to see big steps to the right, uh, you know, big steps back. You know, you, we basically just kind of want to stay over that back leg, okay? So you're doing a pretty good job at, at, at staying over there. All right, so once that leg starts up, I'm going to mark where your head is to kind of just give us a reference point. Okay, so once we start our, our, our delivery and our motion, we want that leg and we want that weight to be distributed over that back leg. We want to be everything loaded up, locked and ready to go. All right. Uh, one thing that, that I like to see too is for you to drop your hands somewhere around this area and get it closer to your body. You know, if it's out, it's just there's just more more path that ball has to travel, there's just more things that are harder to time to get everything kind of consistent. Okay? So your eyes are on the your eyes are on the target, which is good. All right. So just get those hands a little bit lower, and that's going to get your timing down a little bit better. All right, and also to get your hips a little bit more closed off. I want to try to see this foot right here back over this back foot a little bit more, more kind of maybe in you know this position. You're just kind of rotating that foot up and out and kind of kicking it here. So in this position, I just don't want to see that that hip um, internally rotate. I just want to see that leg kind of down here, all right, so just just don't rotate that hip to, to kind of, like you're punching someone right here, you know, if they're standing there trying to punch them in the face or something, you know, just have that leg a little bit more, and what's that, what that's going to do is that's going to keep your hips going forward and leading you down the mound instead of your foot, we don't want this foot to get out in front of your hips until you're probably, you know, down in this position, now your, your foot's probably getting out in front, so all that does, that just leaks energy from your hips, all right, and that just gets you into a position of, of just not as much power. So keep this foot behind your hip and let your hip lead you down the hill. All right, that's the biggest thing is, is hips leading down the hill. All right, so once we get to the height of the delivery, okay, here's your height. We want to try to see your hands break as this leg goes down, as this hip goes down. That's the key to timing um, and repeatability of your mechanics. So you can see you're, you're starting to drop, and now your hands come out right here. So you're breaking your hands a little bit late. You know, we want to try to see those hands break um, with that with that leg a little bit higher. And all that is is because your hands were, were up so high, all right, now to get to that point where they want to break, you got to drop them right here. So all you want to do is just set up with your hands where they want to break. That's all it is, all right? So you, so you eliminate that movement, you eliminate that timing, all right, so just drop those hands down, and then you're going to be time to go. So right when that leg goes down, once those hips start, you want to break those hands. All right, so you're just breaking your hands a little bit late. All right, and you can see this this leg kicking out right here. This, you're not in a powerful position right here. Your weight's still kind of lingering back here. We want to try to see and feel, get a feel of weight on that inside part of that knee. All right, we want to be driving that back leg down the hill and not just kind of have it be just kind of straight and lax, all right? We just got to get that body. You got to, your big frame, big kid, you got to get that body going, those hips going down the hill. And so you see with your foot leading, you can see your legs starting to straighten. So your legs completely straight here, 
and it just kind of stays straight, stays straight, stays straight, stays straight, and now it pops open early. All right, so now you're going to draw a line, you know, you're popping open a little bit early. We just don't want to see that foot lagging right here. So it's just out forward too much, too quick, and it just lags, 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 and you're just losing energy in these hips, all right? So just try to keep this, you know, just think about leaning your butt farther down the mound and keeping this leg, you know, inside of that hip. So then, you know, as you're coming down in this position, you're probably, you know, about right here. You know, you can keep going down in this position. You know, now it's probably getting close to, to leading out there. You know, and now it starts swinging out. So now you're going to see it a little bit out here, but there's still a little bit of bend in that knee. And so then when you're starting to land and turn over, and this foot's turned over a little bit earlier, and you're starting to see a little bit of bend uh, at this plant, at this foot strike. All right. So at your foot strike. So what we're looking at is once that foot that front foot first hits the ground, all right? So that's about right here, okay? So you've popped open. You're, you're a big guy. We want to try to see you get farther down the hill. So get, just reach out there. Let those legs get you down the hill, all right? You can see yourself bending back towards third base. We want to try to see yourself a little bit more neutral spine, all right? And you're starting to rotate this, this uh, right shoulder early, you know, as this hip's going. So you can kind of watch. You can see everything rotate at the same time. We want to try to get your hips in this position at foot strike, about right here, and then your upper body hasn't even started to rotate yet, and your arms are back in this position back here. All right. So that's all That's all that is, is just syncing up that lower body, that it ro rotates first, and it's ahead of that upper body. We don't want anything to rotate at the same time. All right. So all, all that all that this is doing is, is you're getting yourself down in front of yourself. All right. You can see how everything's shifting forward. We want to stay back. And what's causing that part of that problem is this right shoulder's leaking. All right, and then as we sit forward, you can see how at this angle you're really far over. Your head's almost, you know, completely tilted sideways where we want to try to maintain level eyes. You know, we want to try to make sure those eyes are put a level right on your eyes and they're still level. All right, maybe a little bit of tilt, but this is uh, a little bit much where it, you just lose a whole lot of power in this position right here. All right. We just want to try to see you stay back a little bit longer and get through those legs. All right, you're releasing the ball good. You still got that back foot on the ground. Um, you're getting out pretty close over that front foot. And the fact is, is that if we're staying in our legs, we're reaching out farther with this front foot. You're going to start to see this foot. You're going to start seeing a drag mark on your foot. You know, and, and you're going to start releasing the ball from, you know, about right here. So now everything's just kind of going to be shifting forward. Um, you know, this way. And then you're going to be farther out here, and that's just going to get you closer to the mound, or closer to the batter, releasing the ball. Um, but you got a good finish, so, so so everything's there. You got you got the body to to really get some some juice going. Uh, it's just a matter of of how you're starting a little bit. You know, you just get a little bit more consistent. Drop those hands, and just the biggest thing for you is to keep to get that that knee back over that back foot and just drive those hips down the hill as far as you can, keeping them close as long as you can, and let that um, and just let that that front leg kind of fall, do what it wants, do what it wants, but left that uh, use that left side to make everything happen. All right, so we just want to make sure that, that you're coming here, and you know we're just seeing that the hips lead and not the foot. All right, that that's just going to be huge for you. Okay, and one thing I want to try to look at um, is what your upper body's doing. All right, so at this position, you can see how your elbow is really high up above your shoulder. All right, I'm running out of time here. I only have 10 minutes. Um, just try to make sure that, that your elbow doesn't ever get above your shoulder. All right, and all that's going to do, that's going to cause some strain on your shoulder. Okay, so we want to try to see yourself in a position where instead of you locking this arm out, see it's completely locked. Both these arms are locked. All right, we want to try to see more bend in that elbow and getting to a point where instead of having your elbow keep going higher, this ball just rotates up. All right, so you just rotate that ball up. So in this position, you're about you're more right here. All right, and that's just going to get a little bit more healthy, but that that'll clean up with with your timing and everything. So, anyways, hopefully you had a great time at camp. You have an awesome summer. We look forward to seeing you at ABC.